Hi everyone, welcome back to Tiny Mike Interviews at DEF CON 31. Today we are at the Policy Village with Moni. And I felt like this was such an important village to really highlight this year because this year more than ever, I feel like we're seeing more and more people talk about hackers, uh, security, security breaches, data breaches, in policy, in law, in regulation. And more than ever, I think that this village needs that feature. So tell me about what's happening at the Policy Village this year. Absolutely, I'm happy to do so. So I'll start with a little bit of background, right? So traditionally, you see this field as in two different pillars, right? Two different silos. You have uh, one side of it, you have more uh, individuals that have more of a policy, legal background. On the other side, you have individuals that have more of an information security, hacker background. And oftentimes, you don't have the spaces to interact with two communities and bring them together in these spaces. And so that is what the policy department at that point tries to do. We try to create the opportunities in order to bring policymakers into the hacker community space and talk about these issues that are top of mind as a way of really creating more of a co cohesion across these groups. Um, so we're officially you know, part of DEF CON this year. We've had a presence at previous DEF CONs the past couple of years. And I think it's uh, been pretty interesting and exciting to see the level of interest across all our different sessions this year. We have a session um, earlier today that talked about uh, what is policy one-on-one. -on -one? Yeah. How can we think about this as an issue that uh, is important to the hacker community? And the room was packed. Similarly, yeah. we had another one-on-one -on -one session that talked about uh, international cyber policy. How does that manifest itself across different communities here in the DEF CON space? Once again, it was packed. And so I think there is a lot of interest in terms of better understanding policy, but for policymakers to better find ways to connect with hackers in this. So you mentioned earlier that there were some um, policymakers here at DEF CON. How has the outreach been from policymakers to your village? Yeah, so we've had a really healthy representation from policymakers uh, at DEF CON in previous DEF CONs, but also this one. It's been really nice to see that um, there's an OES delegation that came, for example. We also have the current um, acting director of the National um, Cyber Directorate. We have the head of CISA, Janice Jolie, joining us. Oh my God. We've had um, former NCD director Chris English joining us for a session as well. And so, we're very healthy, as I mentioned, representation of individuals across government that are making a presence and taking the time to actually plug into these discussions, get to know the cyber hacker community. Uh, but also share their insights and perspectives on issues that have uh, an intersection between the hacker space and the hacker space. So for the people who are at home and interested in getting into policy and hacker policy, what are some of your favorite resources that you think are super helpful? Yeah, well, so first of all, join us at Policy at DEF CON. We would be delighted to have you. <laughs> Come on by. There's many ways to stay in touch with us. Um, we have many social media channels. We have a newsletter. We push out a lot of content. Um, and honestly, if you'd like to volunteer at Policy at DEF CON, come oh over. We'd love to have you. That's awesome. Is there anything that you'd love to tell the people who are watching at home about policy to wrap everything up? Sure. I think it is such an important issue area that has so many interest sites and bringing in the hacker community is such an important aspect of advancing policy in a more inclusive and cohesive way. And so this is not something that we can do alone as individuals that have more of a policy background. This is something we can only do together and so encourage more of a cohesion within the space. So check out the Policy Village here at DEF CON. Thank you so much for this. I'm so excited to get more eyes on this village. So thank you so much. Thank you. Awesome. Bye, everyone.